It's been quite days by now that this truck is sitting and haven't been started and it does still look what it looks like uh, I am going to start this truck of course before I get to start this truck let me run you guys by a few things I'm gonna go ahead and just to browse a little bit I have about 20 minutes before I head out oh my goodness I left my coffee inside the store I forgot I need to run there and get it <clears throat> Well, it is quite cold, I tell you that much. Um, I'm gonna go back under the hood and I'm gonna do some few installations. So I need some advice. Maybe someone out there owns a similar truck can give me some tips. Okay, this is gonna take a little work and I don't want to really do it but I have no choice I need help maybe someone can help me with this let me pull this out of the way put the screws in my pocket let me pull some of these hoses out of the way I mean I got so used to doing this that it's just unbelievable Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Come on, guys. Let's not break anything. Here we go. We did it. All right, so here's the thing. Let's see what we got here. What's going on? Okay. Alright, as you can see that we got um, the stock carburetor in the truck and as you can see that there's a hose missing, there's a hose missing and how many more other hoses are missing? Let me see what's under there. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. All right. Let me go back out this way. Just gonna make a quick. Okay, that's that. I don't know if these guys did a good job. Yeah, I see they didn't do a good job and I see that. Bad job. Not very happy then. There you go. I have to zoom in. And if you could see, there you go. Do you see that? There's a little wetness there. What I love about mechanics, I tell you, it's incredible. I don't believe it. And they call themselves very professional, huh? They're very professional. When you see these things, you go through a whole lot of crap, drive miles, get there, spend a lot of fuel, and they're gonna do the job on your pickup. And then that's what happens. You see something is actually leaking, the gasket is leaking. So for them to fix that, you're gonna go back driving again. I'm, of, of course, they're gonna recompensate your time and your expenses over the road because this is their mistake, right? Obviously not, so maybe, or maybe not. Another thing is I wanna ask you guys, it looks to me that I'm glad that I'm documenting this right now because I really do wanna, I really do wanna document this and for my record, also another thing, you see here, this is the electro, electro, electronic chalk, right? And that's the plug right there, but this is not the real plug for it. So, 
uh, I think it was perfect. Everything is just crapping off on me. That's nice. Now where did this come from? Oh boy. Anything I touch, they're just popping up left and right. Okay, whatever. <laughs> this just broke off. Anyway, so there, there used to be a little plug here and they uh, put this clamp on, but this is not really made for those. If you guys know where I can get one, please let me know. That's the most important thing here. The previous mechanic cut the wire instead of unplugging it because this is for the electronic, electron, electronic chalk for this carburetor. And if you pull this out, the idling kind of like won't work. Also, just give me a heads up where are those hoses and what that gets connected to. And that's pretty much it. It looks like I'm going to have to run back to these guys and they have to fix what they need to fix. Other than that, it does work good. It does function well. I'm going to go ahead and start it up and uh, see how well it's going to start up at this temperature. It is cold. That was my first crank. Temperatures 20 to 15 to 20 degrees. It's been sitting out here for four to five days. You know, uh, I prefer the uh, manual chalk because this way it's very easy to, you know, do it. Which you, you know, do it with your hands, kind of like you pull and then push it in and control your uh, startup. Uh, the startup position uh, but coming back like electronic chalk it's also good but then you don't have to deal with the manual chalk and uh, I mean this is great it is a standard it's four only speeds but uh, it's fine but it is a big engine I tell you back in 86 fuel prices were like what a dollar 99 cents anyway let me pump a little bit more and get this started excellent it just started up we got 10 rpms and it's dropping instead of going up so i have to idle a little bit with my uh i have to do a manual idle because the electronic chalk is working but because it's so cold we're going to keep it low a little bit It is cold and it's really blown white smoke in the back. That is a lot of white smoke. I'm looking in the mirror and it's really blowing white smoke. The engine is very cold. 
very very cold I tell you this truck came from the south Arizona and never seen cold temperatures like this hopefully she can get used to it now I did see that small gas leak out of the gasket and hopefully they have a small wrench or a tool that can go under it without removing the carburetor and so they can tighten that and also the idling is dropping down it's not supposed to but I guess we don't want it to idle high that way I get to control the RPMs. We don't want to break a rod or anything on inside the engine. Okay, it looks like the white smoke is kind of like decreasing. And we're not having any more of that big heavy white cloud. And it looks like it's lighting up. It's good. I mean the engine is so quiet actually and as you can see the RPMs are starting to go up so it's gone to 10 100 it's going to go all the way to 150, I think. So it's going to take a quite a little while to warm this engine up. I'm assuming maybe 10 minutes. I have only a few hours here. And then we're going to get back. Go out. So it stopped at 100, which is good. Okay, let's go out.
belts are tight. I got a feeling one of the belts are a little bit loose when it came down to that, I think, uh, power string pump. But I'm gonna have to check that. The RPMs are increasing, and I'm assuming it's gonna hit 150 RPM. The engine is pretty, pretty smooth, and it is running. All the oil has been all over the, spreading throughout the engine. RPMs are going higher, engine's getting warmer, which is good. Here we have a little light smoke, actually. You barely see it anyway, so that means um, we got no black smoke, which is good. White smoke, it's understandable, it's cold. Other than that, uh, better than black. All right, we're just gonna hang tight until this gets warmer and we're gonna get rolling.